Hello, my fellow art makers and art therapy lovers. I want to ask: Do you find yourself running away or resisting your feelings? Do you struggle with connecting with your emotions and really feeling them? Oftentimes, we have a complicated relationship with emotions. We like to run away, deny, suppress, manipulate, or just wish them away. When we do this, especially with pain, fear, and stress. So perhaps you can identify some of these common ways that we cope with emotions. First, we like to deny. This is pretending that we're not feeling a certain way, that we're not angry or stressed out, and we show the world that we got it together. We also run away or distract ourselves constantly. We do this with a lot of different things, like new events, new projects, new relationships, foods, or drinking or drugs and shopping. We also disconnect. Maybe we haven't cried for years, or we always feel neutral or just kind of empty inside. Or perhaps we suppress our feelings, so we put it out of our conscious life, which can be an automatic process too. We may not voluntarily do this, but perhaps our dreams kind of show us a glimpse of the things that we have suppressed. Another common way we cope with emotions is to control or manipulate them. This is when we force ourselves to feel better, and also we wallow in the emotions or be controlled by the emotions, which are very different from all the things that I've described so far. But this is when emotions kind of hit you like a wave, and you become consumed by it, but you don't understand what's happening. Or we just become reactive or, or impulsive, without seeming reason. And another thing that we often do with emotions is we condemn ourselves when we feel them. So perhaps you are aware of your emotions, but maybe the problem is that you condemn yourself for having these emotions, or you judge yourself. And it becomes a negative spiral or cycle of just negative emotions leading to more negative emotions. It's okay to use these coping mechanisms as a way to temporarily hold these feelings at a distance to make it safe, and then come back to them when we're ready. But what often happens is. We disconnect from these feelings without the intent to address them again. So it becomes months, years, and even a lifetime goes by without us really looking into what's inside of us. I used to do all of these things. I used to shop. I used to mindlessly eat things that really didn't help my health. But this was before I learned the power of emotions and learned how to use them to my advantage, to empower myself instead of disempowering myself, to be conscious of them without being flooded by them or being controlled by those emotions. Art was a powerful medium that let myself turn this around completely. We somehow learn that emotions are dangerous. We cannot deal with them, and we shouldn't let them be here. The thing is, nobody really teaches us how to do this. We all have to learn how to deal with emotions, 
after we have become adults. So how do we deal with them? We deal with them like Rumi. Rumi is a Sufi poet who wrote lots of poems and I really love his work. Let me share a little poem by Rumi called The Guest House. This being human is a guest house. Every morning, a new arrival, a joy, a depression, a meanness, some momentary awareness comes as an unexpected visitor. Welcome and entertain them all, even if they are a crowd of sorrows who violently sweep your house and empty of its furniture. Still, treat each guest honorably. He may be clearing you out for some new delight. The dark thought, the shame, the malice. Meet them at the door laughing and invite them in. Be grateful for whatever comes because each has been sent as a guide from beyond. What Rumi is teaching us in this poem is about mindfulness. To be with whatever life brings us, no matter what it is, it is truly a practice of acceptance, of being open and committing ourselves to greet each emotion with faith and compassion. Sometimes we think acceptance is weak and that we should resist or condemn certain emotions. But think this, acceptance is powerful. It is an act of courage, of compassion, and of faith. Faith that you are stronger and bigger than the emotion or the pain. Faith that you can hold this difficult emotion in your hands Look at it straight in the eye and acknowledge it is there. All the emotion really wants in your life is to be acknowledged, be understood, and be accepted by you. There's a reason why this emotion is here now. It has a purpose to serve in your life. I want to share a little activity to practice this acceptance. Read Rumi's poem and then create a picture of that guest house and include visitors to your house. What guests are there? Are they coming to your house or are they already in your house? Where would you be? This activity can help us understand where we are right now and what we can work on in terms of practicing more mindfulness, acceptance, and compassion with our emotions. No emotion is wrong or bad. All are welcome in our therapy. If you want to explore more about your emotions and discover in-depth about who you are through your own art, I have spots open for one-to-one -one online therapeutic art sessions. You can see more information in the link in the description box. There is pain and then there is suffering. All of us can experience something negative in our lives, but we also pile on additional suffering on top of it because we try to run away from the pain or resist it. There is power in letting go of resistance and truly sitting, truly being with whatever comes up. Thank you for listening and watching. I'll talk to you next time.